Nathan, Kevin, and Jose look like your typical engineering students. Smart, funny, and definitely ready for college to be done. We're all excited to get out of here and you know move on to bigger and better things. But at the same time, you know, you know, you know, you know, built a new family here with all these other people. You know, our group we've been together since the very beginning. The beauty of infrared light—you can hide messages in plain sight. The three have been through the rigors of the UTSA engineering program and recently graduated, but not before completing the Beyond the Eyes project, a new exhibit that will be installed at the museum in the spring. We basically developed a infrared LED matrix which can hide messages in plain sight. You can't see it with your eyes, but technology can pick it up such as a camera. Quite a way to finish up a college career, but it didn't come without challenges away from class. Each is a husband and father, and this trip back to school didn't mean their daily lives were put on hold. We're different than the other groups. They pull all-nighters and they stay up here all night. We're here at 6 in the morning and we leave at 5 because I got to get home to get my girls from daycare. I got to help give them a bath. I got to get dinner ready. My wife is the best, you know, household six, and she definitely took care of that transition for me and allowed me to go back to school to use my GI Bill. It's a common theme for both men and women today, getting more education to make a better life for your family while trying to keep the family afloat in the process. These guys were lucky enough to get through it and lucky enough to have each other along the way. We do things outside of work together. We do barbecues on the weekend. We hang out all the time. We get our kids together for birthdays. Nathan and I carpool every morning to get to the school. This group has pretty much been the core reason why each of us have been successful. This has probably been one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. Fitting that their project is called Beyond the Eyes because it was the village that you couldn't see that made their dreams a reality. From the campus of UTSA, Brian Bowes, Spectrum News.